Hey Virgo, and welcome to your reading for today. This is going to be a general energy reading for you. We're going to see what you need to know, what you need to be aware of. Take the messages that resonate, guys. It can be past, present, or future. And roles can be reversed. Let's see here, Virgo. What do you need to know at this time? Holy angels. And our divine spirits guiding the collective on their path. What does Virgo need to know at this time? Let's see. We have a Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, wow. So the first card out is we have the Hierophant here. We have a Knight of Swords and we have Judgment. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. Don't have to be though. It looks like there's someone coming in with some sort of truth, okay? Someone's going to come in and speak some sort of truth here. Judgment. Now the Hierophant. This could be somebody with a title. This could be someone in authority. There's judgment being passed here. There's judgment that's being passed. And it's, um, it's giving me, it's giving me like some, something to do with authority. Now this could be a court ruling. This could be an order, a warrant. Let's see what this is. There's definitely judgment that's being passed here from some sort of an authority figure. Who's the Hierophant? A King of Cups, Eight of Swords, and the Devil. Okay. So this could mean that somebody here will be going to prison, a King of Cups maybe, possibly. The Devil. For something that has been done, the devil. Yeah, this king of cups is bound and chained. I'm also getting this is somebody that could have had the opportunity to speak up and they didn't. What's the knight of swords? The ace of coins. The six of swords. And the wheel of fortune. So someone here is communicating something about maybe some money or an investment here, hoping that they can get away or leave something behind the wheel of fortune. Maybe somebody is hoping that this, whatever this is, will improve their karma. Okay. That speaking some truth will um, help their karma in a way. Why is judgment here? The two of swords, the queen of wands. So there's a Queen of Wands here that could be under judgment. The Ace of Wands. For something that they, they might have denied when they made a decision or they had a choice to make, okay? I feel like someone's going to jail, okay? <laughs> Tell me more about the Hierophant. Queen of Swords in reverse. So someone here has been lying. Someone here might have lied to the police or to someone in authority. Yeah, to the judge, justice. This is definitely a legal matter, definitely. And someone lied to the police or someone lied to a judge. So this is perjury. Or this is making a false report or a false statement here. I cannot even believe it. Yeah, I can't. Official person. Judge. So someone committed perjury here. Somebody might have lied under oath. Someone definitely lied to the judge or to the police here. But I'm getting strong as judge. Okay, so they, they committed perjury. Who is this 
King of Cups here. Seven of Cups. This is someone that might have created an illusion here. And they're receiving harsh judgment for this. Yeah, I, I felt it too at the beginning. I feel like this King of Cups was someone that got the opportunity to come clean. And then they lied again. And now they're receiving harsh judgment. Harsh judgment. Because they it's like they got their chance. And I don't even know if it's from the judge or if it's from the divine. I feel like this, this person was granted grace if they came forward and came clean and they didn't do it. Now they're under harsh judgment here. Tell me about judgment reverse. Lovers. They try to create an illusion about to the judge. A lover or a relationship and bad health. And having bad health because of a lover Okay, what? So what is this like? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. A cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. With a cassette. Is this what I think it is? Romance is blooming, fun flirting, want a date. Why do I feel like this King of Cups tried to tell a judge that, that they got an STD from you? Is that really what they said? Be I like you, romance is blooming. This is definitely someone that lied to a judge or told someone, the police or a judge or whatever, that they were your lover. They might have tried to tell the police or the judge that you gave them an STD, bad health. Now with cassette, this is reminding me of readings that I've done a long time ago, a very long time ago, okay, where someone was trying to lure someone in a trap where they could then roofie someone and SA someone and then put it on camera in order to lie. That's what this is giving me. Okay. Yeah, tell me about the Eight of Swords. A mature man. So there's a mature man here who could be trapped now. This person was trying to come out of some sort of poverty. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Three of Swords. They're going to be going to prison here or they're trapped now for trying to harm someone. Yeah, this collaboration is not working. They cannot, this is not working. It's not going to work. The Eight of Pentacles, this plan. This was a plan that they had to harm you, to injure someone here. And this King of Cups was a part of it. I feel like this King of Cups was hired to be your lover um, or to lie about being your lover, pretend that they were your lover and lie to a judge. But their plan didn't work out here to lure someone in a trap where you were then going to get roofied and essayed against your consent and will, right? So what's the devil? The Four of Coins. Yeah, this was a really bad risk that they took. This was a stupid, foolish risk that they took. Very stupid. Very foolish risk to lie about a relationship. Exactly. So this King of Cups, and that's what happened here. They lied to a judge. They lied to the police that they were your lover when they were not. That they slept with you when they did not. And they did that because they had this plan that they were going to try and sleep with you. And it didn't work. Yeah. And now they're bound to their own shit. And now they're freaking out. They're paranoid about the plan that they had, right? Tell me about the devil. 
privileged lady. So they thought that they were gonna be getting money off of this for some weird reason, okay? What's the Knight of Swords? The Knight of Swords, okay? So someone here is coming in and speaking some sort of truth. What's the Ace of Coins? Strength. And the High Priestess. So somebody might be realizing that your intuition is just way too strong for this plan to ever work, okay? They could be finally coming to that realization. I don't know how long it took these people, but I feel like they're finally getting it now that your intuition is way too sharp for this plan to ever work because you know exactly what they're doing. You know exactly who this is. You know the players, you know the plan, okay? So it's not gonna work. What's this Ace of Coins, though? Wedding rings in reverse. Okay, so there's no marriage here. There's no marriage here. There's no wedding. There's no marriage. There's no ring. There's no nothing. No relationship, no lover, no nothing. And that's sudden change, shocking news. Oh, so this is what's freaking them out. The fact that there's no marriage, no ring, no nothing, okay? This is a surprise, a sudden change, shocking news, upheaval. They, they're freaking out about your intuition being so fucking strong. Or your gifts, right? Your intuitive gifts, your psychic gifts are too strong, okay? They're freaking out about it. <laughs> Tell me more about this, please. Page of Cups. Yeah, the truth about messages. The truth is coming out about some sort of messages, of some sort of good news, of some sort of romantic gesture. Yeah, the truth is coming out. There's no ring, there's no marriage, there's no engagement, there's no nothing. It's about a ring. The star. Some sort of a new beginning, okay, or something to do with an Aquarius. The devil, Capricorn, and the seven of cups. No, an illusion that they created here about some sort of toxic energy, um, some sort of controlling obsessive behavior, some sort of an addiction. There's definitely lies here. They created an illusion about toxicity, about jealousy, obsession, maybe anger. And this has to do with some sort of a ring, okay? But the, here's the truth. The truth is there is no ring. There's no wedding. There's no ring. There's no marriage. There's no nothing. There's no lover. There's no fucking STD. There's nothing. None of these lies, okay? And they cannot believe that your intuition is so strong. And here they are now trying to paddle away, paddle away from everything that they've said, right? And all the lies they've told because they've been lying to the judge or to the police, so who's this trying to row away really quick, huh? Six of Swords. The Queen of Cups. Oh, there's a, a, a Queen of Cups and a King of Cups. No way. So here's a Queen of Cups and a King of Cups. Thinking that they can just row away from the mess they've made. Mm-hmm. The King of Cups is over here. The one that lied about being your lover. Okay? The one that's right next to the Eight of Swords. Mean, meaning they're going to prison. So... What, what do they think they're rowing away from here, huh? What do these two think that they're rowing away from? <laughs> the police. Oh, no, you're not getting away. No way. Okay, so these are two people that tried to avoid accountability at all costs, right? And they really thought that they were going to get away with this. Now they're trying to row away from the police or from the judge. This King of Cups had his chance to speak up and he decided not to. He decided not to come clean. He decided not to say the truth and now time's up, okay? So I don't know what this is. They're trying to get away from something here really quick. <laughs> yeah, he chose the money. They chose the money, okay? Wrong choice. What's the nice words? Privileged lady. <laughs> 
Yeah, okay. So they're coming in with some sort of uh, truth here. Or someone's planning on speaking some sort of truth here. A privileged lady. And now a queen of cups, king of cups are trying to row away, row, row, row away from, the, from high honor. <laughs> okay, that's the wheel of fortune. A courtship in reverse because there's no relationship. There's no relationship. There's no relationship with this king of cups and there's no marriage. There's no wedding. There's no engagement ring. There's no lover. There's no nothing. This was a lie that they told a judge or the police. I'm not sure. This is, this is, this is fate here. This is the wheel of karma and it's here and it turned. That means time's up. That means God is bringing this in. Universe is bringing in this change here to expose this lie of these fake relationships, okay? Messages. Yeah, so what am I supposed to understand here about these two trying to row away from, from the judge now, huh? Oh, they're sad. Oh, they're sad. They're crying. Why? The Knight of Wands, because they're trying to take some sort of action here, hoping that they can hold on to control or hold on to their safety or security. So what does that mean? What does that mean that they're taking action? The Knight of Pentacles with some sort of money here, chariot in reverse. They're trying to stop someone else from moving forward. Page of sword with some sort of information. Here comes the Queen of Cups claiming that they have some sort of information so that they can stop someone from moving forward. Hoping that they can hold on to some sort of some flimmer, a glimmer of control here with their fucked up strategy. So what is this, what is this Queen of Cups coming in with here? This communication? What is this? Coming in with some sort of communication about a fuck ton of money. Oh, that's the message. The, oh, it's the mother. Yeah, it's this Queen of Cups Empress energy. She's gonna she she's gonna come in and speak some truth? No, I don't I doubt it. I doubt it. I honestly doubt it. I'm having a hard time believing that one. I'm having a really hard time believing that the pathological lying Queen of Cups is coming in with some sort of truth. No way. Is she the one coming in with truth or is she the one that's being exposed? Because she's the one trying to row away. She's always trying to get away. See, this, that's why I'm having a hard time believing that a Queen of Cups, this Queen of Cups, this Queen of Hell here is coming in with some sort of truth and speaking the truth in a situation because usually she's the one trying to get away with it, right? So I'm a little like, huh? Who's the one coming in with some sort of truth here? Nine of Wands. She's trying to protect herself. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Nine of Cups. It's a water sign. Temperance in reverse. That feels imbalanced. They feel like they can't heal something now. The Three of Cups. Having to do with a group. The world. The cycle is closing in on them. Eight of Cups. They know they have to walk away. <laughs> yeah, but what does that mean? Knight of Pentacles. Oh, their lawyer told them they have to walk away. Their lawyer told them that everything they did in the past, they're going to jail. <laughs> this is their only shot at defending themselves now. They're freaking out. They're terrified. <laughs> sorry, I don't... Sorry that I'm laughing, but I'm like... I, it, it's just kind of hard to believe, right? It's kind of hard to believe when the same criminals and the same like conniving, backstabbing people that have spent literally months to years trying to fuck up someone's life, lie to the judge, lie to the police, fabricate evidence, come up with these crazy fucking stories, trying to frame you, scapegoat you, then all of a sudden have a change of heart and go, you know what, I feel like I need to speak up and say the truth. It's like, hmm, is it really the truth or is it just enough, just enough to try and protect yourself? It looks like the Queen of Cups is the one speaking up, which is honestly astonishing me because I cannot, I can't really believe that this person would ever speak the truth. Like, if I'm being honest, 
I'm having a hard time believing it. Five of Wands. There's a fight that broke out. <laughs> There's a fight that broke out about the truth. Okay, so maybe they all know that the ship is sinking and the truth is going to come out whether they like it or not. Okay, there's nothing that they can do to save themselves besides turn themselves in at this point, right? Okay, so <laughs> tower. <laughs> yeah, it's blowing up in their face so bad. Oh my God, they're like, it feels like their world is ending right now. It's something that... So either it's an earth sign, okay? Either this is an earth sign that's speaking up and telling the truth. Oh, and they're terrified now. Oh, they're terrified about their plan. Oh, yes, yeah, so, because someone has, you know what this is? Someone has screenshots and someone has um, messages and information about the plan. That's what, I feel like that's what this Queen of Cups is freaking out about right now, okay? is that there's someone here in the inner circle because there's someone, okay, there's someone here in the inner circle that has like communication or information about the plan. Like they could speak up and expose these people, right? So now someone here is terrified of being exposed because someone here has a lot of fucking dirt on them. Like a lot of dirt on them, okay? Now, I don't know if this Knight of Pentacles is the one that's going to expose the plan or if this is someone's lawyer. Oh, man, someone is so sad right now. Oh, <sighs> So sad about the people that they worked with. All right. Queen of Swords. Oh, man. Yeah and all the lies that they told. They really thought that they were gonna be able to get away with this, right? With all this money, with all this money. They, re they were this close, but that's what they thought anyways. They were never close, but you know, God let them believe that they were close. Okay. Yeah, so what's this Wheel of Fortune? This is the change that's coming here. Yeah, someone here trying to win at all costs, thinking that they still can win something here when it comes to money. Queen of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles comes out again. Why does the Knight of Pentacles keep coming out? That's like the third time. They're, because their journey is over to being the wealthy man. Someone here knows that their journey is over when it comes to being the wealthy man here. They're not getting the money. Unexpected income in reverse. They're not getting the money. So I don't know. This might be a lawyer that's telling these people or advising this person that actually, no, you're not going to get the money now. Now that you've committed all these crimes, you're going to have to turn yourself in. You're not getting this money, okay? Or this is not going to work. Or this plan is not going to work. I don't know why I'm getting off this nine of pentacles like a lawyer. Oh, it's the mature woman. Yeah, it's this queen of cups who might be getting a message of concern from a lawyer is what I feel like saying, look, man, you've committed so many crimes, okay? And at this point, you know, you're, you're probably gonna need a criminal defense lawyer and not just me, right? That's what this is giving me. <laughs> I can't even make it up, imprisonment, yeah. At this point, you're gonna need a criminal defense lawyer because what you're looking at is not just not getting money, but you're actually probably gonna go to prison, okay? So how do you want me to help you now? I mean, mature woman, you're going to prison. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So confirmation. So I'm still trying to figure out how are they trying to, how is this queen of cups, the mature woman going to prison and her little lover boy, king of cups, who pretended to be your lover, how do they think that they can now come in with some sort of communication, which is going to help them get away with this? I mean, see, I knew it. I knew that there was like, I knew there was a, a catch, right? Because this Queen of Cups is not capable of taking accountability. They're not capable of speaking the truth and saying how it really happened. All they're thinking about right now is that their lawyer told them they're going to prison. 
and they don't really want to go to prison. So now they're trying to row, row, row away from something with the judge or the police. Five of Pentacles, yeah. It's not looking so good for them though. They're just trying to think about how they can hold on to their stability because of something in the past. Yeah, and some sort of a cycle is ending out on them here. Something from the past is closing out. King, uh, Knight of Cups. This was a choice that they made with a relationship. To lie about a relationship. They thought that they were going to get away with this, lying about a relationship, lying about a lover, lying about you having a lover, lying about a marriage, lying about an engagement ring. There's no fucking marriage. There's no fucking engagement. There's no fucking lover. Okay? Just to make that one very clear. And they thought that they were going to get away with this. Well, let's just see why judgment is here. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Because it's not working. Their plan's not going to work. Put in labor in reverse. Something's about to change. Yeah. Okay, so something, something is about to change on their pathway here. The pathway moving forward is about to change because judgment is here. So what's the two of swords? The Nine of Swords, somebody here is maybe still in denial, okay? With the Nine of Swords, they're worried, they're anxious, they're terrified, they're paranoid, they feel like they can't sleep, they're in some sort of weird denial stage, okay? They haven't gone through the stages of grief and acceptance yet, they're still in denial. The Hermit, they need to go within. Page of Swords and the Hermit, this has something to do with a message that they've seen, okay? These are stalkers, they could be hackers. They're silent watchers. These are spies, okay? So right now, they're terrified and paranoid because of a message that they've seen because they're stalking and hacking someone here. And they know that it's about to be over because there's no marriage, right? Yeah. For what they said in the past, Six of Cups. <laughs> These people are so weird, okay? The hand of cards, yeah, they played it though. They tried it. They, they took a chance, they took a risk. They thought they were being strategic in the past and now they're terrified of their past catching up to them because they're stalking and they're hacking and they're watching you like the little spies they are. And they said something about someone having a date or meeting someone new or planning setting a date. A date for what? For a twin flame connection in reverse. This is not a twin flame connection. So a date with someone that is not someone's partner. Not someone's twin flame. Sudden wealth. Mm. They did it for the money. What is this? A date. They're terrified of a date. They're terrified of someone meeting someone new. Strength. They know you're going to have the upper hand in this situation. Ace of Wands. Oh, because they made, they lied they lied about a relationship. Lovers. They lied about a message. They lied about a message when it comes to a relationship where they stole something here or they hacked something here. They manipulated it. They lied. They tried to get away with it when it comes to a lover situation, a relationship hoping that they could get themselves out of a trap. And all they did was secure their way to prison, right? They thought that they could block something here. Eight of uh, seven of wands. It, with the queen of pentacles. And now there's a fight. A fight about a betrayal. Now they're fighting about a betrayal. 
or they thought they could block something here with a queen of pentacles claiming that there was a betrayal because of some sort of competition lying about a relationship lying about messages hacking someone's messages lying about messages creating false and fabricated messages Lying about a date. Yeah, chariot in reverse to stop someone from moving forward. To stop someone from moving forward. The nine of wands. What is this message about a relationship that they lied about? Page of wands. That somebody is not dealing with someone anymore, that someone is hurt. Avoiding a conversation call person. That something is not a one-sided relationship. That someone has decided to prepare for union and have a new phase in their relationship with someone. Yeah, and now the truth is coming out about this. Be lighthearted, finding out things are coming to the light. The truth is about to come out about these messages, about a relationship and where these messages came from or what these messages even are. That they lied, that they thought they could get themselves out of a trap, out of imprisonment here, creating some sort of a fake narrative about competition. When it comes to an engagement ring, yeah, there's no engagement. There's no wedding, there's no marriage. Not happening for any of these people here. Stability, security. Because something is stable, something is secure, something is permanent. But they couldn't stab you in the back. Or there was no heartbreak, pain, there was no separation. No, Somebody did not get stabbed in the back or there was no shocking attack here. Lying about an engagement ring. Lying about messages. Lying about a relationship. With this queen of wands. So why is the queen of wands here? High priestess. The hanged man. Because she's the one that is pretending to have a relationship with someone even though she doesn't have one. And she's pretending to have a marriage with someone even though she doesn't. And she's pretending to be engaged to someone when she's not. It's just fucking weird. Okay? This Queen of Wands is just a little bit weird. And she's under judgment. Oh, look, I didn't even realize she's under the deck. The King of Wands. I can't even believe it. Look who comes out again. Queen of Wands. She comes out again. And the King of Cups. Look at them. So these two. What did these do? To, uh, these two do together here? Queen of Wands, King of Cups, huh? So the King of Cups is the one that's lying about being your lover. And the Queen of Wands is the one that's lying about having a marriage. Or having a, a boyfriend. Or having a fiancé. I'm not sure at this point, okay? And I feel like she's lying about being married. She's not married. Okay. And he's lying about being your lover. So I can't even make it up. I cannot. They're both lying about being in relationships. They're both fucking weird and creepy. They're both lying about being in relationships. Tower. Oh my God. Look at this. Two of swords, two of cups in the tower. Both of them. Both of them. The king of cups is lying. And the Queen of Wands is lying. This person is lying about being with a feminine energy. No, the fuck they're not. And this one is lying about being with a masculine energy. No, the fuck they're not. This one's not married. This one's not your lover. This one is like both of them. Who the fuck are they? Tower to these fake relationships. They're both liars. They're liars. Two of Wands. Two, two, two. Strength comes out again. 
the fool in reverse. Yeah, this was so foolish. This was so stupid. This was so risky and dumb. To lie about relationships, lying and pretending you're in a relationship with someone when you're not, that is risky, stupid, and dumb. But that's, I guess, exactly how these people, how these two people are. Stupid, risky, and dumb. Okay, why don't they end up in a relationship together? Okay, looks like they deserve each other. How stupid, risky, and dumb both of them are, honestly. The Six of Swords. Yeah, they thought they were going to get away with this. They really thought they were going to get away with this. Why? Because they're all lying for each other? That's how they thought they were going to get away with this? Okay, what's a tower? The tower is that there's no separation. The tower is the bad choices that they made to claim that somebody had rekindled a relationship or renewed a relationship or changed their mind. Oh God. What's the tower? They're getting a message of concern child in reverse, that they're not innocent, guilty, imprisonment, you're going to prison, all of you, message of concern for lying under oath, especially this main male, king of cups, you're going to prison, congratulations, and you're not going to be the privileged lady, you're going to prison, judge, you lied to the judge, this is perjury, this is perjury, and you can expect that. A wealthy man. Yeah, they were expecting to be wealthy. They were expecting to get money out of this here, main female. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, you main male, king of cups, you're guilty. You're not going to be seen as innocent. Hell to the fuck. No, you're going to get a message of concern from the judge that you're a liar. Okay? And you've been both of you faking relationships, hoping that you can save your own ass. You guys are sick as hell. What is wrong with these people, man? What is wrong with them? Using using messages, hacked messages, fabricated evidence. Like, what is wrong with them? Closing messages here for Virgo. <laughs> Chariot in reverse. Yeah, they didn't want to stop. They did not want to stop trying to create an illusion here. And now it's over. Yeah, the it's burnt out. They can't move forward. They can't move on. They cannot move forward. It's over. The world cycle is over now. For the choice that they made. For the choice that they made here with this King of Wands. And that's the message. Yeah, you chose this. King of Cups. I feel like this is for the King of Cups. This person got the chance from the divine to, to turn themselves in and speak the truth. What they did was they chose to work with this King of Wands. That's the message. You're going to prison for that. Okay? That's what you wanted to choose. That's what you're getting. Okay? For these lies. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay? So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.